So recently I decided to check out the movie Gnome Alone on Netflix. I knew it wouldn't be a very good movie. After checking out the trailer, there was no doubt in my mind that this movie wouldn't be very good. I decided to check it out anyway, and honestly, I could not be more disappointed. I wouldn't recommend this movie to anyone. It's just another bland, generic waste of a film. The only thing that makes this movie even remotely creative is the fact that it's named after Home Alone. But why did they really think ripping off Home Alone was a good idea? The only reason this movie was even greenlit is probably because of the funny name. Obviously this movie wasn't greenlit because it had an interesting plot. The story in this movie is terrible. The film is about a girl named Chloe who winds up moving to this new house that happens to be inhabited by garden gnomes. The garden gnomes have been secretly living in the house to protect the world from these evil purple blobs. The one thing I hate about this movie the most is the villains. They're just a bunch of small purple blobs. They could have been something more creative, like aliens from another planet, or evil robots with lasers, or maybe even zombies or monsters. Just something a little more threatening, but for some dumb reason they decided to go with little purple blobs from another dimension. Honestly, they could have gone with anything else, and I would have been a lot more impressed. Honestly, they could have at least made it so the purple blobs eventually escape from the house and attack the entire town, or something like that. That definitely would have made the story a little more interesting. At least towards the end of the movie, the purple blobs turn into a giant monster, but still that was at the end of the movie. The rest of the movie was just boring. And the main character, Chloe, some reason reminds me of the girl from the movie Next Gen, which is another Netflix movie. They're both very similar characters. One of them has pink hair, the other has purple. Both of them are depressed teenagers with no friends, so their personalities are the same and both movies are produced by Netflix. Honestly, you would think both these movies were made by the same creator. I checked on the internet, and they are in fact both made by different people. It was just a coincidence that both characters are so similar. But you have to admit it is a funny coincidence. I suppose you would have to watch both movies to understand the similarities. But the personalities of both of the main characters in these movies are very close. They're not too different at all. There's also this kid in the movie named Liam. He's voiced by Josh Peck, so if you're a fan of Drake and Josh, you might enjoy this movie. But if you're only going to watch this movie just because of Josh Peck, then you're probably not going to enjoy this film. But honestly, if the movie was a directed DVD film instead of a Netflix original movie, you probably wouldn't have even heard of it. The creators behind this movie should at least consider themselves lucky that the film was this popular, because if it wasn't a Netflix original movie, it wouldn't be very popular at all. If there's one positive thing I have to say about this movie, is the graphics are pretty good. They're not the best graphics in the world, but they definitely look okay. So that's really the only positive thing I have to say about this movie. I honestly couldn't give this movie a higher score than a 6 out of 10. Younger kids might enjoy this movie a little more, but honestly there are so many better movies out there, so I would hardly give this one another chance. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think of the movie in the comment section below. Till next time, be sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.